It is about time. I am sick of quest videos. I'm not doing any more quests. So I figured, because I can't think of anything else, it is time to build what everyone can agree on is probably one of the worst characters in the game. Shin Yen. She mainly can be played physical, is how you sort of want to play her. However, I was reading through this, and I feel like I could, I don't know, try to make her do massive, big burst damage, but I don't think that's going to work very well. However, I can try it because it, I don't know, might be funny to do massive, big burst damage. I've been saying I was going to do this for ages. So it's time to make her do big damage. Also, don't ask why I'm up here. I don't know either. So we're going to start off by level 90-ing her and maybe the team because I think this is what I'm going to run her team-wise because we want this reaction, Fryo and Electro, because that does stuff for physical, I think. So we're going to run Cookie here because she's the only really good Electro or Field character I have. I do have Dory, but she's not good, so we're not going to use her. Plus, she's not wouldn't really work too well so we are going to use cookie she's already built as well which helps and then we're going to use rosaria for the cryo applier for cookie's stuff because her burst does periodic hits of cryo and also she gets crit rate increase and more crit rate increase and then we have mika here because he does physical damage stuff with his burst plus he can heal so that shouldn't be too much of a problem because shin yan has a shield but he can heal if we need it. So we're going to start off by level 90-ing them. We obviously have a bit of work here with Shin Yen. We need a lot of these. Thank God they've added in this thing. So I will go farm these, I guess. Oh, yes. And we have some very big news. It is unrelated to what we're doing currently. But big news nevertheless. If you have been keeping up with any of Wuthering Wave's social medias, you would have probably already seen that they have released the drip marketing for the 1.4 characters. I'm sure some of you already know where this is going. But we have two characters. We have a 4-star and a 5-star. The 4-star is Lumi, I think. And she looks kind of cool. It's kind of like Yao Yao looking character almost. I don't know. I hope she's like a healer or a buffer or something like that because we need more of them. But the other character is someone I've been waiting for to release since the start of the game. I've pulled for like one character on my main account and I lost 50-50 so I was guaranteed and I haven't pulled. I have like 140 something pulls saved and that would be my absolute favorite character out of almost like any gotcha game ever, Camellia, which I'm 90% sure is how you pronounce her name. So I don't think there's going to be that many people pulling for Shorekeeper because best character to ever exist is being released the update after. So there is going to be a pretty big pulling video coming out on Wuthering Waves in a month or so because I'm going for Camellia, her weapon, and as many copies of her as I can possibly get. And like that we have bang on enough of the violet grass for Shin Yen. So that leaves the other guys. I will get around to doing them later. I reckon I'm just going to get Shin Yen maxed and then we can deal with everyone else later because Shin Yen's the important one because she's the one actually doing the damage. That is now enough to level 90 Shin Yen. There we go. Boom. Shin Yen is level 90. Next, we look at her weapon. We are going to run her probably on... Good question. What should we run her on? That could work. It is the only attack weapon I've got, so it will have to do. Okay. I'll take it. I could probably go a little bit further, but we'll leave it there for now. I can deal with it later. Okay, so now we move on to artifacts. You want to run two Pale Flame, two Bloodstained. Well, that is everything level 20. We are now sitting at 1,003 defense, 1,600 attack, 54 to 130. It's definitely not the worst, I guess. Okay, moving on. Constellation is currently sitting at C4. She is, however, on the current banner. Also, I have one of these pulls, so let me use it. And we do have, like, zero pity. So, I mean, quick temple. Can't hurt. Get a double Shin Yen. That's a Bennett. Might be a C6 Bennett, which means I can unlock Pyro Shin Yen. Let me do, like, one more pull, I think, is how much I need for another four star. Yep. Shin Yen. Rock Girl. That's Favonius. 
Okay, this is the last one I'm calling after this. Please give us Shin Yen. There we go. Shin Yen. Lovely. Can I get a double? No, only a single. I lied. I'm doing another one. I want C6. I'm just... I'm one away. Gambler ma mentality. I am one pull away. I want C6. That's Kachina. That's Bennett. We're getting everyone but Shin Yen. That's a pretty stacked pull. Also, Bennett C6 now. So I can run Pyro Shin Yen. Okay, this is the last pull I can do. So this is going to have to be our last pull. And there we go. C6 Shin Yen. There was no reason I really needed that because I don't really need C6 Shin Yen. However, we have C6 Shin Yen now. So that's something, I guess. Benny Boy is at C6. Now I will need to think about this. What teams do I use Bennett on? Not very many. I use him with Shangling, Faruzan. That's about it. So I think I am going to C6 my Bennett. Bennett is C6. Shin Yen is also C6, which isn't really that good for her. It just decreases the stamina of her charge attack. Now we look into talents. We need to do all of them because she needs all of them. And there we go. All of Shin Yen's talents are up to six. Obviously, this is nine because of constellations. So now that Shin Yen built, Cookie is running full EM build, but she's not really doing any damage. She's just here to enable us to do not overload the other one. And then we have Rosaria and Mika, which I need to build. I think we'd want to run her on something supportive because she's obviously playing the role of a support a little bit more. So Noblesse Oblige, we are currently sitting at 69 or basically 70. So that'll do for Rosario, I guess. I don't need to, I will actually level this up. I don't need to, but I will. I'm just going to do a burst because that's the only one that I'm using here. Her skill doesn't do anything. So we'll get it up to six. We could actually go, you know what, screw it. Let's go up. Let's go put it up to seven or ten because of constellations. Now we have Mika. He is running, I don't know, no bless is good for him as well, but I don't need no bless on two characters. I'm just going to build a healer build because that's easy. He is getting Favonius Lance. So I can get more particle generation and all of that stuff. 30k HP. 147 ER. He's he exists. So now let's go see what we can do. We have everyone built. I'm not going to bother actually leveling up these two because I don't want to go farm with their stuff and I don't have any of the more or level up books to do so. Let's have a look at just purely unbuffed. 6k. That's not bad actually. 5k I think from there. These little hits are doing about a thousand. Yeah, about a thousand from those little hits. And we're hitting about 6k for the attack. What is it called? The physical damage. Let's try out a charged attack. 4k unbuffed burst. Does the 24k. Damn. That was a lot more than I was expecting. And we're still hitting that about 5k there from... That was like 5k on the thing. We're still hitting about 7k, 9k there. Okay. Well, actually, there's, there's, some, there's some damage. My standards are pretty low for this damage, so... They are being met. I was expecting not very much. But we are hitting more than I thought, which is nice. We did hit like a 24k or something, which is pretty surprising. Let's try all the other stuff. So we want that, we want to do that, we want to do that, and that. Now, 8Ks. Nine K, eight K, twelve K. Six K, eight K. Okay, there was definitely some increase of damage there. Nothing huge, but there was an increase of damage. Now let's try against some Hydro enemies, get some reactions on here. I didn't see any of the numbers there, but something died quickly, so it must have been okay. 10k. There's definitely damage being done. It's not the best damage, but it is damage. 28k there. We're doing more than DPS Chi Chi, so that's something. So I will take that. 
We're hitting, there was about a 28k I saw in there. I think I'm going to leave it there because honestly, that's significantly more damage than I thought we we're going to do. I was going to try pyro build, but that's going to require artifacts that I currently don't have. I might try this again when I can get some pyro pieces. I have a couple crimson witches, but they're not very good. So I think what I'm going to do is come back to this and try it out with C6 Bennett. I don't know, Farina or something, which to be fair, could work pretty well. However, I don't have the resources to do any of that right now. So there's, there's going to be a part two to this and we're going to make her do pyro damage because, I mean, why not? Her skill is sort of more predominantly pyro damage and her burst does do like hits of pyro damage, even though its initial hit of the physical did a lot more. It was like 28k. 29k she's definitely not the best character in the world but for the questionable build i'm running her on currently the 54 to 130 exactly 130 with a bit of physical damage 108 percent physical damage 1600 attack and obviously a thousand defense i mean it's not bad we are talking about shin yen who's notoriously not the best character in the game however almost 30k from not the best character in the game is pretty good considering I don't know how to build her either so that doesn't help the situation very much so if you have any tips on building her I don't imagine many of you would because I don't imagine that many people are building Xin Yen if you do have any tips for either physical or pyro damage let me know I'll have a look see what I can do maybe I can create a monster out of Xin Yen and make her do some crazy big damage but I mean I'm pretty happy with what we've gotten so far is definitely not the best damage in the world but it is more than some of my other silly builds, that being DPS Chi Chi, who only does like, I think she hits just about 30k on a burst, but her average damage is significantly less. My other stupid builds, my DPS Farazan does significantly more. She just does like 80 something k and probably will do more once I can get her to C6. Now I can officially say I've started working on DPS Shin Yen. And she's not a forgotten character on this account. She's actually being used. So enough yapping. I am going to leave it there. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.